In today's video, we're going to work on this gauge cluster. All right, guys, so today we're going to uh, work on my gauge cluster, and I got a um, package a long time ago, actually, from uh, XB Dashboards. And uh, it is my new gauge face. And uh, this is what it's gonna look like. A little bit of a modernization to what I've got going on here. You know, <clears throat> I, I don't know that I ever would have liked that blue, um, ever. I, I never have uh, since I've, I've had the bike. It works, it does the job, but I just never have really felt like it. I think it sort of made the bike look. Stupid! So it's pretty straightforward. Now, one of the things I do want to do is I, I do want to add a digital voltage readout, um, do a mod to this gauge cluster. So today, what I'm going to end up doing is really just replacing this part and then uh, coming back to do the gauge cluster. For that, it does, or not the gauge cluster, but the uh, voltage voltmeter. Um, to do that, though, it requires a lot of, like, you know, getting out the Dremel tool and grinding out some stuff. I just wanted to do this really quick. It's been, you know, on the list of to-dos, and I'm just going to get it handled. Uh, if you've got your, your gauge cluster already removed from the bike, uh, XB Dashboards does have a really good, um, very nice step-by-step -step, uh, slide deck that you can follow. You might even be able to print it off and uh, you know, just have it ready. But removing these from the bike is pretty straightforward, not a big deal. And if you've got a Phillips said screwdriver, you know, it's pretty much all you need. Aside from these spoons you see over here, um, they do have some very explicit instructions like, you know, don't do this and don't do that. Um, and it has to do with the uh, gauge needles. You don't want to go grabbing them with your fingers and stuff like that. I'm just hoping I don't goof up when I'm uh, taking care of this. So. You never know. Things it's got happen some uh, dirt in there from, you know, life over the years. And there's the gauge cluster out. Um, I am going to take a moment to uh, clean this as well as I can uh, using some very gentle, um, just using a rag, I guess. Okay, so one point that um, XB Dashboards makes is to use these two spoons and pry underneath the um, needles. Do not go and grab them like that don't twist them, don't do anything. And then when you push them back in, do so very gently. So matter of fact, before I put the needles back in, I'm probably gonna go back and review the slide deck to make absolutely sure I don't goof anything up when I'm reassembling everything. All right, I think that'll give you guys a little bit better view, maybe. You may end up getting a little bit of shoulder cam. And, and frankly, <laughs> part of me is tempted to tell you guys, too bad, so sad, I need to see more than you need to see. So um, let's try this without worrying about what the camera angles are. Oh no, that was not intentional. I don't know that that makes a huge difference per se. I just know that I want to avoid that as much as I can. And it may be unavoidable altogether. Well, that's a little bit more pressure than I thought.
frankly, this is a little bit nerve wracking. There it goes. It's got a little bit more tension on it than you might realize. I'm gonna try and keep it oriented in the right position toward the zero. Um, and uh, that way I'm not altogether way off when I go to put this back together. So there's the, the needle. Holy cow, that thing is sun faded, isn't it? Look at that. That's the original color. Oops, sorry. Look at that needle. It's uh, That's a lot of sun fade. I don't know if you can see the difference on the camera. Nope! The next one is Speedo. So let's see if I can see. I keep accidentally twisting those needles. I don't like that. It makes me nervous about putting it all back together and getting it right. So now we're going to pull off this gauge face here. I can review uh, documentation one more time and there's some adhesive around where the needles are and uh, you just kind of have to be gentle and try to apply even pressure as you're pulling away and it seems to just lift off okay. Um, so I'm going to keep working this and I'm, I'm not put, I mean, I have to be firm, but not like go for it. So I'm, I'm being firm, but gentle. Is that a word? I know you guys can't get a good view of this and I'm sorry. I just, I need to concentrate. I don't want to wreck my gauges. There you go. That's the gauge. Panel off and not in bad shape. All right, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, any of you want this, let me know, <laughs> sell it to you. Make you a good deal, make me an offer, how about that? All right, so now we are gonna place the new gauge panel on and lines up pretty well and the adhesive that was left over is doing a fair job of keeping everything down so now what i need to do is do this bit all right so the documentation says to press uh firmly but don't push down too deeply into the the gauge cluster and doggone it, the thing keeps moving. That really bothers me because he's like, the documentation says don't don't go twisting on this thing, right? So it's in there. It's in there. So whatever. Uh, and then the speedo, <laughs> I have a feeling my speedo is going to be a little bit off. So I don't I, I don't know. We're, we'll find out. So typically when you are done putting it together, you would you would um, plug it all back in and watch the gauge needles sweep across. Um, I don't have a bike <laughs> to do that with. So, you know, it is what it is. What I'm gonna do now is um, get, get some, uh, um, microfiber and uh, clean out the interior here. Just make sure everything's perfect. I'm using microfiber because it doesn't leave anything behind. You don't say! So <clears throat> you may be thinking, well, why don't you just do this now? Well. I'm not prepared to do it yet, and I am gonna put it back together only to pull it back apart. And it may be that I wait until 
uh, some point in the future to do the voltmeter mod. You know, it's it's fine without it. It's not like a necessity. It was a want. Um, and sort of a, um, you know, way to avoid the issue that I had my last trip. And it is a very good mod to do. It's definitely a worthwhile mod. But, you know, it's one of those scenarios. Let me, uh, I'm going to get my air gun and blow this out. It's got some schmutz kind of stuck to itself in here. It's plastic, so, you know, you know how that goes. Or maybe you don't. Maybe everything in your life is metallic. All right. So, oh, and by the way, <laughs> I, um, when I pulled out two of the screws from the backing, I, I learned after the fact that I didn't have to do that. Whoops. So, whatever. It's fine. Just wiping out um, one more time around the uh, perimeter of the gauge face here and uh, making sure that everything is in place. This little guy just popped off of somewhere and I can't tell where it came from. Can you see that? Do you see where it goes? Um, the, I see its siblings here in these three locations. Oh, I found it. it goes right there. I'll tell you what I am doing. I'm being very careful not to put my fingers on the interior of that um, because watchmakers don't do it, so I, I'm not going to do it. You don't say! Um, and I have a feeling... You know, knowing myself, I would go berserk seeing that every time I rode my bike. Dude, I, I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks pretty, that's pretty dope, in my opinion. I think that looks great. Oh, man. Uh, so, again, the needle right there, that may be off. I, I just can't tell. And I'm not, I know you're not supposed to go just twisting like crazy. And so, um, to fix it, I have to power it on and watch it go through its sweep. So, unfortunately, it is what it is at this point. And that's okay. I, you know, I knew that going into this, but at least I got the, I guess, the hard part done. No, that's the hard part, the, the bolt meter. I'll, I'll, I'll link a video down in the description to show you what I mean by that. If you're not aware, if you're new to Buells and not sure what I'm talking about, save you some time. There's a guy um, that I subscribed to way early on. He's out in California, I think, and he did the mod and did a really good video uh, tutorial on how to do it. And I'm not going to do that for you guys. I'll show you the aftermath when I get around to doing it because his is, he does a great job. It's like a legit tut tutorial. So, and I think that's worthy of, of your time to go do that. All right, uh, I think we'll go ahead and wrap up here. I'm gonna, all I'm doing is putting those screws back in the back here, and uh, they're just there essentially temporarily until I get this thing bolted up. So, um, that said, uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I appreciate everybody who is subscribing. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to. And then, um, yeah, everybody, Thank you, and until next time, peace out. Keep it between the ditches.